Now, an Ada Nearside investigation abandoned again. Runaway and abandoned pets are being rejected by Hillsborough County's Pet Resources. Eight on Your Side first brought this issue to light last night. Now there's a new complaint that tax dollars supported pet resources is not community friendly nor focused on animal welfare. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews tells us it started with limited, or it starts rather, with limited access and limited assistance. Correct? Little, very little assistance at all. And how convenient is this? If you need to take a sick or stray dog or cat to the animal shelter, forget about nights and weekends. And if you happen to call for help, good luck. Fourth of July fireworks make for spectacular displays. They also terrify many animals, causing them to flee in fear. It's one of the busiest intake days of the year at animal shelters. So on July 5th, when a dog with no tags wandered into Adrian Swisher's cul-de-sac, she called Hillsborough County Pet Resources. Asked them if I could go ahead and bring them on down. They stated no, this was not their normal intake hours. Um, that I can bring it in on Monday from 8 to noon. Well, first of all, Adrian works. She manages the Timberlane Pet Hospital and Resort in Plant City. She's got three dogs at home and told the county she couldn't keep a stray. You want to keep kisses? Um, there was no compassion, no empathy, no solutions. If she couldn't bring the dog to the shelter, she told them she'd be forced to release it onto the street. It was just... Do what you need to do. Dr. Ellen Lentz got a similar response from the county when she called about someone abandoning a cat at her animal hospital. And I said, well, I can't keep this cat. You know, what am I supposed to do? And they told me to just let it out. It's just harder to surrender animals here, and some people believe the county's doing it to improve their numbers. Adrian contends the county is more concerned about raising its live release rate than caring for animals, so it's limited the times, 8 to noon, Monday through Friday, when the public can surrender animals. As a result, she contends animal hospitals, as well as rescues, are taking in more strays. So when we try, but eventually, just like everything else, you run out of room, you run out of space, you run out of resources. It is her belief more animals are being left on the street. How many more animals are out there suffering starving to death, hit by cars, injured, that wouldn't have been if they were able to get into the shelter and have a safe place to go. Critics contend the county is effectively shifting the burden from the animal shelter to the community. Hillsborough County has yet to agree to do a sit-down interview with me about these issues. Well, Steve, let's get this right. The hours that the public can drop off the pets, those hours are limited. Yeah. And Pet Resources is saying that uh, we have certain issues when it comes to picking up these animals. Yeah. Raises a question, what are, we, what are we spending our taxes on here? Yeah, you Where's know, the not, money going? Certainly not for service like this. And another question is, with the emphasis on live release these days, are we really saving more animals, or is it just the numbers in the books that say we're saving more animals? Yeah, I'm not ready question. to buy what they're selling at this point. Mm -mm -mm. All right, interesting Thank stuff. You. Thank you, Steve.